What's going on all you beautiful people out there in the world? Fast Food Toy Reviews here. Today we have Kung Fu Panda 4, set of five amazing looking collectibles released by Jollibee here in 2024. Let's get them opened up and have a closer look. Some of the set we have Master Shifu and he looks absolutely amazing. Look at this thing. What? Wow, Jollibee just knocks it out of the park with their toys. I'm telling you, look at the detail in this guy's face. Look at this. It's simply amazing. Oh, I love Jolly Bee toys. Oh, this thing is so cool. So, it comes with two other accessories, and it has this cool little base, and this is part of the gimmick with these. Let's see if I can angle that. There you go. It reads, DreamWorks Kung Fu Panda 4 on there, only in theaters and all that good stuff. So, there's little pegs on his feet, and you can see the holes right there on this base. So, this is what you do. You peg it in, get it lined up just right, push it in there and now he's on his little base and then you have this little lever right here and look at this you can see where it slides around right here so back and forth and that's because you have this little bell like a training bell we'll just call it a training kung fu training bell and you can see it's on a little string and a little plastic stand so basically the gimmick with this is you take master sifu here and you kind of set him in front of it and you spin him like he's hitting the bell Twa! Oh, that's so cool. I love this. Oh, this is great. Okay, so you can see what we're doing here. So basically, you're just helping him train and hitting the little bell. If you hit it hard enough, you knock over the little stand, too. This is great. Look at this thing. Oh, so awesome. I love this. Oh, my goodness. I love this thing. So there you go. It's Master Shifu. Next up, we have Zen, who looks awesome. Look at this. Very cool detail. I'm totally appreciating how awesome these things look. They're just well made, well done, solid plastic figurines with a really neat gimmick. And so she has this little lever on the back and she has a spring loaded arm gimmick. So you can see where I'm flipping that just like that. And she has a few little accessories here. So we gotta build this. This is kinda neat. So here's a little base, give you a look at that. Kinda looks like wood, but it's just plastic. And we have this little table right here, which is fitted. So you have two big holes and two small holes for the pegs, which you have a big peg and a small peg. So it is fitted a certain way. So you line it up right here on the base and get the table put on like so. Take your time, be real careful. And then once you get it in there, you grab the little table pieces and there's two little parts to the table here let me show you they link up like this you can kind of slide them together and you can see they're fitted on the table as well you got the bigger not thing right there and you got the little thing right there and there are the little holes so this fits in just like this you take this piece of the table you slide it on like so then now you got your table put together and you take Zen and she's got little pegs on her feet and you place her on the base inside the appropriate holes right here just like that now she's all set to kung fu chop the table you ready here we go <laughs> there you go it is very simple to put back you just line it back up like this so we're gonna do this one more time you know how we roll here we go and once it's lined up grab the lever from the back and Come on, chop the toy! <laughs> so cool. And there you go. It's Zen. Next one up is Tai Lung looking awesome. Just like the other ones, it looks amazing. These things are so well made. I'm telling you, the detail is just fascinating to me. Look at this. Just so well done. Very impressive. So it's all just solid plastic. No moving bits. Zero articulation here, except for the little button here. That's the gimmick. You push the button, but first, we got to put him on his little base so you can see the little base right here and it is fitted it only goes down one way you can see a flat side to the peg part there so it fits in just like so get it lined up and look at that now he's on his little base and then the gimmick in the back again is the button you give the button a push and watch <laughs> very simple stuff like i said we've seen it before not the coolest but still kind of neat does a little spring-loaded kick and <laughs> Yeah, actually, you look at it from this side, look at it. <laughs> Come on. It's so silly. Yes, he's just like wiggling his toes. All right, here you go. So we'll just give you a little spinneroo here. <laughs> That's what he does. So he's got a little little front kick action going on. So there you go. It's Tai Lung. It's the chameleon looking amazing. Yes. Oh, this is one of the coolest sets I've messed with in a long time. Look at this thing check out the detail i can't get enough of this this is amazing just so so cool i'm just totally digging it look at it 
I'll give you a 360 and then another 360, so we'll give you a total of 720 here. <laughs> so underneath the gimmick is little wheels that roll along, and that's the gimmick right there. So you roll the wheels, and she wobbles back and forth like so. So you hold her by the tail right here, and you just kind of push her along. And she's like this moseying on, be bopping down the road. Beep -a -doo. <laughs> Look at this thing, it's so cool. I know it's a very simple gimmick, same thing with the Thai Lung. You know, it's it's not overly fascinating. We've seen a lot of stuff like this in the past. But what makes up for the, the lackluster gimmick is the fact that these things look simply amazing. The detail that Jolly Bee has put into these is second to none. Very impressive stuff. So there you go. It's the chameleon. And last up in the set, we have Poe, who looks fantastic. Let's give you a little spin -a here. Let you take it all in with your cute little eyeballs. There we go. Give you the little 360 spinneroo, and on the back you can see the little wheel there. That's part of the gimmick. You spin his arm around. So what you do is you take his little accessory, his little nunchuck, and you slide it into his hand just like so. Now he's holding it, and then it comes with this cool little base. You place Poe and tab him onto his little base here, like that. So now he looks even more awesome. And he comes with this little training dummy, which has cute little eyeballs and ears, like a, I don't know, like a, I don't even know. Kind of looks like Poe, maybe? I don't know. You tell me. Looks awesome, though. So it's this hollow, hollow plastic, just a little hollow piece of plastic. And so you take and you spin the wheel like this, and you just knock over the training dummy. Oh, I love this set. So cool. So you just spin it around, and that's it. Look at this. All right, we're going to do it one more time. You ready? Oh, boom. <laughs> there we go. And that's it. So there you have it. It's Poe. There it is, everyone. Kung Fu Panda Part 4, set of five movie collectibles, released by Jolly Bee here in 2024. This is a fantastic set. You know it is. You absolutely love it. I love it. It's great for the collectors. It's got a lot of playability. Jolly Bee just knocked it out of the park with this one. It's a complete win. I highly recommend getting it into your collection. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. See you next time.